defending champions. Good of themselves well. Keanu Tomata, formerly of OBM, and these days with Kahu Scaff holding tough. Why, that's a Nelson Moran out there, a big number five. Everybody else giving them at least a shoe's length behind. Uh, a very good, strong forward pack, too, for town. Lance Dixon, Mai Paongo, Salisi Nival. Here on a glorious day. A little Some northerly Ben Holt big in the middle. Boys on the field today, Ben. I'm getting goosebumps. Big guys. Now, the town team will play from left to right in the red strip. Country from right to left. Interesting strip. Very distinctive. And of course, today, it's uh, very unfortunate the uh, passing of a great all black in Sydney going. The legendary halfback. Kids love their rugby down the sideline. <laughs> A lot of ball boys and ball girls here today. See now what's the set of they been. Mm -hmm. Ben Holt. Poverty Bay. That's where they're going to pick the players from. The Heartland team. Where they're going to come from. Town and uh, country. Matt Prophet fullback. To kick off. Making sure everybody's uh, behind halfway. Prophet. So town kick off, and the big guy Hudson underneath. Oh, he's been turned over. Held immediately. Strong stuff there. That uh, told me Maui Paongo was going to be wearing uh, number two. They may have had to ring a few changes. No, 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 that's Maui. Salisi Nerv out, running hard to oh. its space. That's something they're going to have to do today. Cody Christie wearing the 10 for a town. So town with some ball early on. Big thumping tackle on uh, Hudson to start the game. Oh, what a hit. James Higgins. Fairly confrontational. You can expect a lot of uh, rough stuff up front, Toby. These are these are big people. Throw their weight around. Definitely, Ben. And town's going to be looking to get their early, early lead on country, Ben. Oh, certainly aggressive. Look for line to start with. Kick the touch from Matty Prophet. Prophet's oh, no. talent. Oh, now it's up. For a moment, his heart was in his mouth. He thought that he might be on the verge of kicking the ball dead. Town will still have the throw, of course, for the uh, penalty. Keanu Tomata wearing seven. Nelson in the middle, big Nelson. Nelson Moran, the big five. Ben Holt makes a mark. He wants to get out of there as soon as he can. Ford's in the process of sorting each other out. Big Nelson Moran in the middle. We're in the five. Okay. Nice take. That was Willis Tamatia. Good play here from the... Good uh, play from country. Yeah, country's pack working well across the ground. Now it's up. To be a poery. So country on the defensive here early in the game. They Kick find out. touch. Mitchell Purvis not very not very pleased with the strike. But hey, he found touch. That was that was the object. That's what he did. It's gonna be a line out to come, quick line out to come for town. What is Tamatia already in very good form at the line out? Pango. He's played in the back row as well for his Pirates Club. He's captain of Pirates. And it's been Another up. great catch against the throw. Good work there. That was... Uh, Country that was on the run now. Riley, yes. Country. Oh, he's on a stall on his feet. Given some space here. Could be very dangerous. Tobias Country, a chance to have a look at their backs. What do you expect? Ben, you're expecting a full YMP back line. So, oh... Oh, oh Maui Pongo gets Higgins. Man, Higgins got them earlier. They just got him back. Here's our Purvis. Good defense here. Jocka Thomas. Iwa. Big guy got over him. Strong on his feet. Penalty to the country. Okay, now that uh, penalty goes against the town pack for playing the ball on the ground with their hands. Got to find touch. 
Awesome kick the touch. Oh. They've made a strong start, the country pack. They've won line out ball against the throw. They've made metres. They retain the throw, Shade Scudder, an expert thrower of the ball. This guy's captain of the defending champions. Okay, what is Tamaki Tamaki now, Scudder? Scudder, a very good all round forward. Here is our Mitchell Purvis. Purvis now a powering oh. good shot ball. And here come the country backs. Country backs, YMP backs, almost inseparable. They're very much the same. They are the same. Higgins over there, making another metre or two. So country now, a rampaging country. Routinette. Up there in the line, a lightweight compared with some of the others. Just about everybody. What's country going to do? Do you reckon I'll go for the three? Well, the first thing that has to happen is that the town players have to retreat 10 metres, which they've done. Ben Holter, a good referee, easygoing guy. But don't make any mistake about it, he's in charge. He's a real find. He came sort of out of nowhere, out of the blue. He'd refereed many years before, come back to it, did a great job. Held on to him, Poverty Bay did. Ray Noble, a great move by Ray. Line out one from country. Uh, they're not going to lose too many, and they're going to win a few opposition line outs as well. Oh, what a strong run. Yeah. Okay, so are we calling that try number one? Okay, try number one there. It's a very difficult from our angle and at this distance to say who scored, but no doubt about it, country. First time they've been in the opposition half to bias, and they made the most of it. They've got good forwards. They're going to get good ball, and they're showing that they can use it. 5-0. Nil, nil. Nil. What an awesome try to start off town versus country, Ben. They are very strong up front, country, obviously. And they've got more strength on the bench. They've got people like Jeffrey Party and Campbell Crisp, of course, on the bench for our country also. So, you know, they're not going to be easy to push around all afternoon. Uh, I wonder if that was a Sam Hudson. Sam Hudson, relative newcomer to this level of rugby, but is a big, strong guy. Remember, he was the, he was the country forward that they hit from the kickoff. Might have been dispossessed of the ball. That's a kick of goal from uh, Purvis. Just goes to show he's he's only human. He scored two tries against Hawks Bay in a Ram Furnish Shield challenge. You can have good days and days that have started off a little tough. But don't forget either that he found touch with that first line kick. It, you know, it didn't look like God's gift, so what? It found touch. Sometimes rugby, you know, people can be in the habit of nitpicking at the little smallest things. It found touch. Okay, Prophet there with a restart, Good long in kick. the middle. Near it was Hudson again that uh, never went forward. Here now is Purvis. Good play by Purvis. Oh. Is that Scudder? Scudder with a ball in hand? No, as a matter of fact, it's not. It's Getting to ground quickly too, yes. That was, uh, well, Rutani was given to me as wearing seven for uh, country. That's uh, the seven that was given to me. Country with a lot of possession at the moment. Moving quickly into oh, position. Oh, big man. Oh! Country still have it. Purvis has it. Purvis now to James Higgins. James Higgins, Higgins can carry players. Higgins, and Higgins does carry feet. players. And Higgins strongly, powerfully on that upper body. And Higgins makes good ground. Ball in hand. Front foot ball. Got to get good ball. So the country backs with a wealth of ball. With a lot of possession. Ball now goes loose. It's higgledy piggledy. Oh. And now at the moment. Country going back over halfway. Like Brown's cows. That's a Purvis, Purvis boot to ball. Quick well, chip. Hey, Town are going to try things. They're going to oh, try back it. profit there, diving, presenting his back. This is a rump actually to the opposition. Town, now they've got their hands on the ball. They just need to settle Town their play a little. to score here. Try and play the game at a million miles an hour. It's hard to keep up. Well, is that... Uh... Yeah, no, unfortunate there. That was Celeste Neoval. Nobody tries harder. Nobody tries harder. Uh, hard as big as a house. You know, sometimes, Tobias, I suppose you're thinking so much about what you're going to do next, you don't quite catch the ball. 
but you're excited. Hey, that's what it means to be young and playing the game. Definitely, Ben, and it, it's a, it is exciting to see new faces on the field. Mm. Hudson could do something, man. I think he could be a top front row forward. He's tall for a prop, Sam. He'd be maybe 6'3". Scrum to be fed by uh, Caleb Tafare. It's a pretty good forward pack they've got all round. They've got uh, Siopi Pihana, number eight forward. Country full of running, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what that expression means, to bias. They're up for the game. It's not three minutes into the game, hey, let's wake up here. It's not like that at all. Country are ready to go. The other thing too, of course, if you don't pull your weight, you can easily be pulled <laughs> to the side. Reef Tan Brown Tedekia taking the field now, OBM boy. He's going out there to our first five, so it would seem. Yes, not uh, so it would seem, so he is. Well, Brown Tedekia has moved to the blind side of the scrum. Yes, Ryland to Wairu or Brown. Is that actually Campbell? No, that's Campbell. It's Campbell Hall. Campbell Hall's left the field. So I don't know what happened to Campbell, but uh, he's left the field for the time being. Country over the top. Country could Country be very, very now. dangerous. They are dangerous. It's strong stuff. Country playing good, willing rugby here. Good start. Strong start from country. Yeah. Five no, no. What do you identify here, Tobias, that they're doing so well? What is it that they're doing really well? They keep playing forward. They keep going. All they're doing, Ben, is passing the ball, which is good. They're using the whole team. They're using the whole line. Oh. And they're making metres. Playing 15-man rugby. And that's great. Saw Sam Hudson handle the ball a little while ago. First receiver, Purvis there. A nice flat pass. Scudder. Oh. Mr. Combat. Action man, it's Shade action. Scudder. Ball goes loose. They have it there. Lost forward. Pinwell leader, Town. Maybe on just a couple of occasions so far, Tobias Country, too very willing, as we said, mm. but just perhaps a little hurried in their play, just a little on a couple of occasions. But, hey, this is a big day. This is Town versus Country. This is rugby with a pulse. You know, these guys are going to try and run around, use the ball. They are, as they say, into it. Ben Holt. Keeping a lid on things, Ben Holt. Simmering tensions. Scrum fed by our King Etiamo. They got Retan. Retan at halfback. Now playing halfback, yes. I wonder oh, that is. He, did, he wasn't wearing a number, you see, when he went on. Reef at halfback. One of the things about a game like this, too, I suppose, is you've got to be prepared to play out of your ideal position. You know, you may normally play first five. Oh, he's on the run! Oh. He's on the run! Well, they've got to be happy with that, Town. No try. Oh, oh the cruel fates. Oh. Unlucky. Well... It was right there, you know. <laughs> it's my try. I'm was lucky. Try. Hard case, you hear the crowd erupt. Well, they'll laugh, but wasn't their try. <laughs> okay, Scudder throws the ball in. Now, that's a line-out gone wrong, which is unusual for country because their line-out so far has been pretty good. That one looked a little disorganised, to be honest. Ben Holt wasn't ready. So Reeftan Brown Chedekir has gone out there at halfback. All of a sudden, you know, where does a halfback stand? What do you do type of thing? Okay, that's a lovely catch. That's a superb catch by Keanu Tomata, captain of town. And there with the ball in hand for a moment, Ale Polo. Great to see players from the different clubs get a shot to Tobias. Every single club represented and well represented. Guys from Pirates, guys from Ngarapa, High School Old Boys, OBM, YMP. Definitely, Ben. It's good to see all our teams playing together, not against. Yeah, it's good to see them play against each other, but no. Once, I look forward to this game every year because it's the one time 
that they play together. Well, there's only only one club captain of note that I don't see out there, and he's that's George Fakatope, co-captain of a Tapawai. Full of running though, there's no doubt about that. Caleb Tafare down the blind side. Some pressure on town here. Town showed their intent. The way that they came up and hit Hudson first at the kickoff, they showed their intent. Then it was as if they'd uh, shown a red rag to a bull. Country came back very hard through Hudson. Hudson scored a magnificent try for Ngāropa out there at Ngāropa a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Blood out to come for town. <clears throat> Another case out there at Ngāropa actually, Tobias, of the soil being a little soft underneath the chairs we were on. OK, that's Keanu Tomata. Oh, that that didn't look quite right. Okay, powerful stuff is that Scudder yep. making good ground here. So country now with the ball again in a strong position. They lead at the moment 5-0. Remember, uh, Town thought they'd scored, or one of them did. Penalty goes against the country. Ruling there from uh, Ben Holt is that uh, they were offside at the line out. That's country. Okay, that's uh, profit finding touch. That's a really good touch. You know, you've got to make use of the wind in the first half. And to be honest, you've got to get some sort of a lead out of that wind to bias in the first half. You don't want to go in 10, pound, 10 points down. Just makes it that much harder after the break. At the moment, 5 0, the first conversion, first conversion attempt. You saw that from uh, Mitchell Purvis. Okay, looking for that ball. He went up hard for that, uh, Duran Smith. Oh, he's okay. on. Town working hard here. Town had a little bit try. of ball in the last little while. That was Reef Tarn. Pass up. Very willing. Very willing. Big hits. Antonio Muddy White. Like his effort. Love his attitude. Great attitude. So Town trailing by five points. One try so far. Do we believe Christy. Hudson? Okay, country forwards got to try and stay on their feet. Town have the ball, but it's scrappy ball, as they say. Ball on the ground. Ah, oh, Dixon has it. Dixon. Pong, well, we're going to see that little step from Dixon. He's got a little step. Dixon, uh, Dixon's quick off the mark for a big guy, actually, Tobias. You wouldn't think so. He can move, man, no doubt about it. For a big man, he's got that speed, Ben. Yeah. His club captain for OBM, Ricky Tedeke, also has... You Don't know, get me started with Ricky. Speed off the mark. I'm still buzzing over that try I scored last year. You know, uh, that kick and chase. Yeah, which one? <laughs> he, kicked it from like, he kicked it from like the goal and I kicked the full field and caught the ball and still scored the try. I was still yeah. buzzing. That doesn't often happen in this reality. Happens now and then. In terms of field position, Town has come right back into the game. They've enjoyed a bit better field position in the last while. Country, that's a Purvis, the whistle there. Early on from referee Holt. And now Town need to retire a little more quickly than they are. Nelson Moran lumbers back, lumbers back, uh, well, back pedals in slow motion. Big guy Nelson Moran could be a very influential forward. Has the making, certainly has the physique and uh, strength to be a very good scrummager. They find touch the oval. Nice venue, actually, the Oval these days to buy. A little bit soft ground, number one today, but I think in generally in, in very good condition. It's always good to see our grounds being, like, not in, like uh, the weather that we've been having lately, dumb weather, but it's good to see that our grounds are actually shaping up for our good game today. Great to see people at rugby after that dastardly lockdown. Great to yeah. see people out there, mum and dad and all the kids, loving their rugby. As well they might. Okay, that meant for uh, Willis Tamatea. Willis is a very, very good line out yeah, forward. It's also Kuku Lloyd. They got to halfway. So country are at halfway. Here now is a Hudson. Hudson, oh. ball in hand. Without that big palm, that right hand. Splatter you like an egg. And there's a penalty from referee town. Holt. Hands like meat dishes. Sam Hudson. 
Tell you what, these front row Fords are powerful brutes to buy us. They're fast too. James Higgins and Sam Hudson and company. It's called that fend that don't argue. Profit. Helps to have a left footer. Odd looking kick, but it finds touch again. As far as those town forwards are concerned, that kick was a thing of beauty. They couldn't care less whether it spirals or not. Throw to come from uh, Maui Paongo. Thrust into the role of hooker. He's done so well this year for Pirates, actually, Maui Paongo. And he's done so much for the club in different positions. You've got to be a blindside practice sometimes. You've got to be a number eight sometimes. Got to tick a lot of boxes. OK, that's Keanu Tomata. That's uh, Hudson. Tail of the line out. The, uh, I suppose you run that risk with a, with a lob. Windy conditions. Town playing with the wind in the first half here. Good strong rugby. Country on the run now. Well, Tobias, country have been pegged down here for Whoa, a little, what a little bit now. Money support. Stop. Give him Bosca take a seed drive. Bosca. Pass away and good boot to ball. Nice Trying and to turn these guys around. Okay, turn them around, Taron. Cox Petitiaki. Darren Sewell. Good play. Darren. That was a very good run. Got as far as uh, got as far as uh, Antonio Muddy White. Awesome D from town. Oh. Antonio Muddy White there, very good tackle. Taron Cox Petitiaki. He looks like a guy that would be pretty tough to get tabs on. Keep tabs on there, Tobias. He's a big man. Mm. <laughs> Tell you what, you want powerhouse, check out Tater Pori. He's something else. <laughs> Look at Nelson Moran there. Giant among giants, number five. <laughs> Antonio Mariwai, very impressed too by that tackle. He's hearty, as they say. Reef Tan. Brown Tedder Kia. I'm still surprised that he's playing halfback. Okay, penalty. that's a scrum penalty. Jokatama Siwa wants to tap and run. I love what it is that Jokatama does for OBM, you know what I mean? No such thing as a language barrier. They just, they just go. They just go. They tap and go. Profit. Now he finds a touch near side. Nelson Moran. Waiting for everyone else to catch up. His locking partner, Duran Smith. Second row. Country pinch another one, Tobias. Well, Boy, they got it. Honestly, Willis has been outstanding. Here now is uh, Purvis. Oh, Purvis. Okay. Ball's going to take a bounce, is it? No. Ball uh, well, bounced away from uh, Philomone. Iwani, Filimoni, Filimoni, low to the ground, strong, ah, powerful. What he's still on his feet. Iwani, Filimoni. Ah, he's away. <coughs> That's first try for Town. And Town have scored their first try to make it five all. So Town have struck back here. Iwani, Filimoni. You couldn't say it was an individual try because he didn't score it. But I'll tell you what, he made it. And there they are, Town. Iwani, Filimoni. He did so well there because it could have gone horribly wrong. He was running with his back to the opposition, managed to gather the ball, low to the ground, and strong, and did really well. Wayne Hemmer, now there's a Matt Loyalty. Wayne Hemmer, that's it. Right there, Whoa. top of wise, Wayne Hemmer. Out there for town. I thought Philomone did extremely well, man. Going back with these guys chasing you. And steps one and another, off the right, then off the left. Dream come true. Matthew Profit to take the lead. Off. Moi Pongo, Captain of Pirates. Ball in the upright position. He would have enjoyed his time out there too, Maui Pongo. Nobody has tried harder or dug deeper for their club this season. And I mean it. Well, town. Iwani Filimoni, take a bow. That was marvellous. Talk about making something out of nothing. <laughs> the, 
you know. Yeah, the hounds are hell in the rugby sense descending upon him. Game played at pace. You're going to need lots of water. You've got to drink water. Restart of play. They are going to be very, very powerful. Nice run there from Marty Wai, who's also tackled well in the first half. Tobias, I think the town forwards are starting to come yeah, into their they're own. Starting, they're starting to build now, Ben. Early on, it was all country. There's no doubt about that. All they needed was just that extra in. Nelson Morel. I want to see the big guy run with the ball. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Dixon. Lance Dixon. Bumps along. Is that Jokotama Siwa? Grab an arm, grab a leg. Grab him, catch him while you can. Reeve time with the fake. Ooh, some big solid shots. Town forwards are buying metres, but they're expensive. Okay, everybody's on side. That ball hit somebody on the head. Then it went loose. Matty Prophet. Ben Holt. The blank countenance of Ben Holt. Doesn't show too much emotion out there. Enjoys his refereeing. Does a good job. Doesn't give much away. 7-5. 7-5 town. Star-studded YMP back line of country. They're able to ring changes. Uh, actually got Tana Pody out there wearing 13. Got uh, Tapia Fairley wearing the 12. Although, as a matter of fact, he is playing outside Tane Tapia. He's just wearing 12. Reef Tan, nice pass. Christy. Okay, a bit of ball here for the town backs. Bit of ball. Getting a bit Cohen of ball here there. Cohen Loffler does well there. Tall youngster. Still only around about 19 years of age. Not 20 yet, I don't think. Here is uh, Bosco with Take a good pass. Oh, oh, Bosco. Oh, Wani Pulamoni. Filthy about that. That's still in play. The ball. They're going to allow play to continue. Yes, they are. It's town ball. I couldn't see clearly whether or not that went forward. Obviously not. Here's Jokatama. See, wow. <laughs> Lifts those knees up, man. Have you ducking for cover? Turnover, country have the ball now. This is a, well, it was a long passage of play. I'm enjoying this, Tobias, you know why? I think sometimes rugby can have too much pattern and too much structure. It's a pain. Sometimes it's neat to see the boys run in every direction possible. <laughs> what do you Fast think? Fast-paced rugby, Ben. Oh. You're free, I'll hook a pass. I've got three guys on me, I'm heading backwards, I'll hook a pass. Sam Hudson and Shade Scudder. Come into the uh, bench. You know what? This reminds me of a little bit. A uh, Barry Cup challenges in the old days of rolling subs. It was the last competition where you could send out an entirely new forward pack, none of whom were registered. I really enjoyed the Barry Cup. I thought it was brilliant. It must have been very hard to control, but uh, from an entertainment point of view, geez, it was classic. Great rugby. Great poverty bay rugby. Times uh, like today, of course, remembering... Late great All Black Sid going. He would have played against players from this district, this area, during a very, very good era for Poverty Bay rugby. They played extremely good rugby. Many more guys in the district to play rugby. <coughs> Poverty Bay, a union with a proud heritage. And this town versus country has been a good thing to buy us. It's a, it's a good concept. It's good for the family as well, being to come out and watch the game as well. Seeing that, aren't your mum and dad and all the kids out there in the sun? And it's brilliant. You know, some people, deep, they're absorbed in the rugby. Little kids, the helter-skelter, they don't watch the rugby or even know what's going on. They run every which way but loose. Mm. But they enjoy being at rugby, being around rugby, to grow up with it. Poverty Bay Rugby Union has done well in the organisation of this fixture. My neat quarter, company here this morning. Now on in uh, 21 or so it would appear for country. 
Well, you gave me Anthony Corodia to wear 21. Not 100% sure on that. Okay. Oh, country on the run now. It's out to Pehi fairly. Tanner Parry got him the pass. That can work both ways to equally devastating effect. Toru Nornoi out there now as well. Here's Campbell Crisp. Big man. Good stuff, Campbell Crisp. Rolling back the years. Good stuff. So Campbell Crisp makes ground. Ball in hand, Purvis. Oh, oh it it. I want it for Lamoni. He's going to go and score. I want it for Lamoni. I want it for Lamoni. Can he get there? Wow, they forced him out he wide. Got there. Oh, wow, they forced him out wide. Still got it down. <laughs> Times like that, all you've got to do is lengthen the distance between you and the chaser. That's what Philomone did. You know what? He deserved a try there, Tobias, because he made the first try that Town scored. They lead before this seven points to five, and now they lead 12 to five. Philomone having a great game for Town. What an intercept. Oh, I'm still shaking, Vin. You don't have time for it to register, you know what I mean? You've just got to go. It's not, oh, what do I do next, or what's our structure, or whatever. You've just got to go. Back yourself. The instinct of a natural ball games player. Great stuff there from Philomone. And now Matt Prophet. He had a pretty easy mince pie to kick the first time up. A little different here. He's around about uh, 14 metres off the right touch. Tobias, I would think, from where he is just outside Whoa. the 22. Matt Prophet, left footer. Aim for that left post, one would think. Prophet, 12. To five. This would be 14 to five if he kicks it. I must admit I didn't expect this. Town take a bow. <laughs> Couple of tries. They've been very good. He's got this, I think, Prophet, oh, as you know, across the face. Unlucky. Well, there's no arguing with Fred Barwick and Paul Brown. They're the right people in the right place at the right time. And, of course, 12 to five. Those guys have stood and helped and blown whistles in literally hundreds of games, Tobias. They are uh, a great asset to the game. Well, 12 to 5. Don't forget, country struck first. They scored the opening try. Was a bit. Okay, the kick has travelled 10 metres. Philomone may have lost that forward. He did. You know, Ben Holt's having a good game. Just the basic things, the basic knock-ons. You know, the basic throw that isn't straight. <laughs> Philomone, you can't keep him out of the game at the moment. <laughs> of life. If he's not scoring a try, he's making a try. Philomone strikes me as a player around things, around whom things happen, you know? Time waits for no man. He's definitely going to play of the match. Uh, Cheyenne Wiley. Out there in the six. Pukana at eight. I do hope they're not going to send boys out there with no number to <laughs> That would kill me if that happened, you know what I mean? Mind you, speaking for myself, you can only wear what covers your back. You... Look at Wayne Hammer ready to go. His enthusiasm for the game undimmed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Philomene's come off. Yeah. Leka Palusa is on in 21. Massive half for Philomone, Ben. Uh, oh, wonderful. Wonderful half. Played really well. Okay, now Purvis has it. Is Apari strongly there? Encountered resistance. Purvis. Stern resistance, stiff resistance. 
country we try and Perfect. do everything yeah. to score a try before the half ends. Good distributor. Well, it's 12-5 at the moment. Two tries to one. One conversion. Both of the others from uh, quite wide on the park. Three tries. Three good tries. And Philomone, that was a crowd pleaser. Oh, it's gone off Jeffrey Party's Balls boot. Loose. There's Jeff Party now. Jeff Party there with a, a pop pass. That was a pop pass. Okay, Jeff Party. Ball up for him. Mitch Purvis on his feet again. He's strong too. Make any mistake about that. Purvis is a strong player. Might surprise you. Real talent. Been a great asset to Poverty Bay Rugby on and off the field. Here's our Willis. Oh, Willis, good pass. Oh. Toru Norno. Man, they went big game hunting there. They got him. Well, down with some good tackles. Country store and attack. Yes, they are. Here's Kupu Lloyd. Kupu Lloyd, a guy that can hit like a hammer in the tackle. Win good line-out ball. Willis has been magnificent at the line-out, so too Kupu. Guys, are, I, don't, I don't know if they're calling for subs or not. That was Cheyenne Wiley in the <laughs> sixth for country. Campbell Crisp there breaking into a thunderous trot. Getting over to that next line out. I can remember him as a Campion College first 15 captain mm. when they beat Wairaw. That was up there in the pouring rain at Campion. The Broadhurst brothers were playing. That was the meatiest clash in that grade you've ever seen. Okay, nice win there, Kupu Lloyd. We were talking about his ability at the line out. The ace, Kupu Lloyd of Tapawai. What are country going to do? Drive the line out, drive. Very good tactics and very good execution. Okay, Mitch Purvis there with a pass. Oh, well, Tapi fairly had it for a moment. That was Pelusa getting to the breakdown such as it was. Country here. Penalty and they're found. penalised here. Pelusa managed to get across, snuff that out. Well, you know, I thought Country were doing the right thing there with that line-out drive. Remember, score at the moment, 12 to 5, two tries to one. And memorable tries to Tobias. Cheyenne Wiley, he's a scrapper and one of the gutsiest players around, YMP's Cheyenne Wiley. Hard tackler, tough number. Look at Toru Norno in front of him. Wow. Okay, up goes the big guy, Moran, oh. with a good line-out win. Here's Wayne Hammer, encounters the shoulder Hammer there. Hammer from Top Boy. Lloyd hits Wayne Hammer. That was oh, good stuff. Oh. Man, this is some rugged rugby here. What they call no oh, frills. Forward pack's got hard stuff. Talk. Able to run here. Katie Christie. Nice pass from Christie. I thought for a moment that Ben Holt was going to call forward pass, but no, he's got them for offside. Penalty to town. Okay, what a big country. hit from Ratu. Oh, absolutely. You know, sometimes we don't mention every player's name, and you know, in the case of a forward like Ratu Nairoroi, it's because he's buried in the tight. He's where he should be, doing what he should be. Not one of these thrill seekers and glory hunters. Pulling up here at the oval bin. Nelson Moran won the last line out for a town. The Colossus. He and Keanu Tomata, the open side. Going to lift Keanu Tomata. Win oh. for him. Ball goes loose. That's uh, Jeff Parry, is it? Is it? Looked like Jeff there for a moment. Okay. On the run. Town with a town bit with of the ball. ball. They look twice the side. Here now, Reeftan, up to Nelson Moran. He got it. Whoa! Oh, Nelson's that. up. Nelson Moran. Nelson. He looked even taller. You <laughs> saw Nelson Moran there. Lift it up. Tell you what, that's got to be scary to bias when there's nothing between <laughs> you and the ground but imagination. Nelson Moran. What do they call that lift there? A, a Ouija or something. They lift you at the line out like that. Many profit kick. Good kick. Yeah. Profits had a very good first half, I think.
Tell you what, there's nothing as frightening as being lifted up by your britches. That's, uh, boy, not a lot of fun. They retain the throw. And I was talking about how good this uh, has been, this town versus country fixture. This game itself has produced some really good rugby. You know, at times it's been a bit messy, but you're going to have that with oh! contributing teams. Ratu picked it up again. Together, Ratu Nairoroi continues his solid first half. Remember, we played a lot of rugby. It's uh, still the first half. 12 to 5. Town on run again. Town here with another try. Well, that's what they want to do. Kupu Lloyd with an excellent save there. The Waikohu captain with a great save. Here's Bosca Tikasidre now. He could do anything. He is unpredictable and a He's half. fast on his he's, feet. He's going back to go forward. Now finds Matt Prophet. Prophet holds the ball. Got that away again. Oh. Playing pretty well here now, Town. Playing with a lot more confidence. Their man, Polo. Ale Polo. This has been some very, very good play in the last oh, 15, 20 no. minutes. Antonio Marewai. Look at the way. And Jokatama Siwa. <laughs> you, saw one, you saw a hand just going to the ruck. A delightful guy and one of the most enjoyable players around. Got away, but only for a moment. Ben Holt doesn't miss much, you know. He's pulled up three or four guys who thought that they were going to score tries. They'd received a forward pass. <laughs> All the fun of the fair. We have ball boys and others who aren't quite ball boys but just couldn't, couldn't stay off the sideline. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll move when the big guys run past them. That's Keanu Tomata there with an outstanding win at the line-out. And it's been picked that, up again by play. Country. Country have the ball now. They're onside just. Country there. How about the win from uh, Tomata? Still the first half, Tobias. Awesome. <laughs> this is what I love about Town vs Country. Could be still with the first half and be <laughs> the best half. He's got the, the pace has got to slacken at some stage. Going to be hard to uh, keep it up. They're going to try. Country had all the ball at the start of the game. Okay, Cheyenne Wiley. Cheyenne, it's a tough pass. Tan Cox, Petitiaki. He did so well there. He wasn't held. Got up win again. I think he did extremely well. Tannen Cox, better to you. Toru no no! Surging Honestly. through tacklers. My dad would be tacklers. Okay, country running hot now. This is Purvis. Purvis running hard, running well. Country becoming the well-oiled machine they were in the very left. early in the game. Remember, still 12-5. Two tries to town. One to country. Hudson, I think, scored the first try for uh, country. That's uh, Tepehi Fairley. Oh! He could just decide to take them on. That's Palusa there. Putting a big full stop on uh, Tepehi Fairley. You can't really hurt Tepehi Fairley. He just grins at you. Okay. More rugged stuff here from uh, country ball in hand. Country forwards running straight, running hard. Toru Nonoa has the ball. Now, he doesn't need to be as quick off the mark as a Lance Dixon or Ricky Tedekia. He just thumps it up. Cooked okay, it. that's uh, Purvis. Getting one out wide to Willis. Oh! And Tane over there, Tane Apodi. Country have some savage backs. Country have a try. Now. So now it's 12-10. Country have two tries. Town have two tries, one conversion. Country there, I just got the impression, to Tobias, that enough was enough, and they decided that they were going to score. So close. Close half, Ben. Like you said, the start one they had all, all the start of the game. Town came back, scored well, two tries. To anybody who wondered about this concept a few years ago, you know, will the guys play hard? How will they approach it? They uh, can answer that question. They play this game at a million miles an hour and they make hard tackles 
And the teamwork, considering the fact that they're only together for a handful of trainings, I think is pretty good. I think the way they've, they've played the game has been pretty good. It's been good rugby to watch, good quality rugby, 12 to 10. Tobias, your best moments of the uh, first half, your thoughts? Ooh. Had to be the try from Philomone. Yeah. Uh, I wondered if Philomone was going to get there. Did you think he'd get there? Yeah, of course. You think they'd take him back in? Uh, we are, we are, uh, Ratu. Ratu's a big hit. Uh, and number eight for Tom. Yeah. He's keen. You can tell he's keen to get uh, into the game. Absolutely, he is. Siopi Pekana. It's half time. 12 12. So it was a strong start by country. Don't keep time. How long is the actual half time these days? It's normally five minutes, isn't it? I was going to ask. Do, do different referees have a different time? Well, I don't know. I'd say when they're sick of standing around, they blow the whistle. I'll never forget. 
Shanksy's was the ultimate this game. We had, we had a, uh, it was a 52 minute first half, second half was about 49 minutes, and it went to extra time. And the break, you gave them a 15 minute break between the and then it came back and they had a 20 minute. And the, uh, 15 all. Yeah, uh, 12 all. 12 all. Yeah, hey. Oh, that's for sure. I just turned it off because I didn't want people to go past swearing in it, actually. Oh, no, it's muted. Is it? Yeah. Oh, you better turn it back just to make sure. <laughs> I was just a bit scared somebody would go past and say, hey. <coughs> mm. So before that happens, kind. I've got to try and anticipate what we say. Yeah. It's false. Oh. There's a problem. It's on. Yeah. Yeah. You know what happened? In 20 minutes. Is it supposed to be an extra 10 yeah, but when he said, well, in the interest of consistency, I suppose he's going to do this. And you know what? The guys who are playing in the big and the A grade final, premier final after that. Well, we were just. Thinking of old times here on Rang Line, some of the great characters that we've known. Tobias, 12 all. <coughs> I don't think people here today would have expected that sort of scoreline. They might have gone 20 minutes. 20 or something, but 12 all. Two tries, so you've got four tries, two conversions in the game. These teams, two tries and one conversion apiece. Mitchell Purvis. He's played well to date. Purvis there with a restart. Okay, ball goes loose. Town have it. Oh, Ratu. That's strong there, Ratu Naito Roy. Big Decided it was time for people to uh, shift. That's the big fella, uh, Serawanga. Itani Serawanga. Cody Christie. The town backs. Purvis there with a good tackle. An excellent tackle there by Purvis. On... Uh, Polo. Town. Town. Willing to run. It's uh, Kingi Tiamo. Reef Town. It's a pass out in front. So Town here with some structure here. Starting to apply themselves. Oh. Uh, Santa Wonga, another good run. That's the second time big he's man. held it. Held it, made a big run. Got another good pass. She's sweet. Good stuff there. Good Pirates lad. Oh, what a big head. Oh, as well. Toru no no. no. Toru no no is the fairest player in the world. But the truth is he doesn't give much. Go mountain climbing. Natani Sirawanga. Tell you what, he is uh, an awesome sight. With the ball in hand and general play. Huge legs. It's come come country. Twelve all. I don't know how long it's going to stay. Twelve all to buy us. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's going to go soon. Maybe the cloud will burst, if you will. Twelve five. Okay, country ball. With the ball, looking dangerous. Oh! Extremely dangerous. No doubt about that. You saw uh, B fairly wearing the twelve. Genesis Bartlett Campbell Chris. Lane for it. That's Campbell Crisp. Campbell accelerates. Good play here by Country. No, no. No, no. Straightens up. Decides to bump it up. This is good stuff here from uh, Country. A powerful muscle bound start by Country. Here in the second half, Ben Holt, whistle in mouth. No try. Ruling there the penalty. They managed to repulse country their town. Yeah. You've got to watch the sideline here. Some of the personnel on and uh, well, I was given 23 for me for country was supposed to be Zach Pell, but I can assure you that that's a not Zach Pell in 23. Here's Genesis Bartlett Tamatea, <laughs> son of Ron Tamatea, YMP legend, Poverty Bay rugby legend. How do we call you on the field now? Yeah, young Genesis. Okay, country, full of running here at this point. They're very willing. That's good stuff there, James Zutani. Tiafati. Tiafati, we're in the nine. 
You watch out for him too. He'll pop up. There is there Caleb again, Caleb Tafari. Brought to ground. Making the tackle there. 20 was supposed to be Harawera Kaukura. Some thumping tackles. It's going to be a penalty to country. Ben Holt is willing to play advantage. It's sizable advantage. Remember, advantage can be of two types, territorial or tactical. Of course, players will always push you and say, does that mean two passes? Does that mean three passes? It means as many passes as you get is what it means. In terms of territorial, obviously a large gain in ground. That kind of finding touch. Seeing good quality rugby and a lot of the game's different skills, Tobias. Line kicking, the line out at the scrum, all those facets of play. And there's been good play in all facets of play. Jeffrey Party for the line out. Yeah. Jeffrey Party, an excellent forward, durable forward, very experienced. Great man. Throw here for country, yeah. Foundation player, it's Kupu. That's a good win at the line out. So good play here for country. But being driven back, strong defensive play there actually by Town as well. Caleb there with a good oh. pass. Was that meant for Purvis? It went loose, ball went loose. Sometimes fortune smiles upon you, but only for a moment. You don't have a lot of time to think out there. Sometimes you can be overtaken by events. I'm of the opinion personally, Tobias, that sometimes players and coaches are far too critical of themselves. Should have done this, should have done that. Hey, this game is played fast and hard. Don't have minutes to work stuff out. But I've enjoyed this uh, spectacle today. Good scrum here by country. Looking for their first tight head today. Not going to get it, but everything but... Penalty to town. Penalised here by referee Holt. Country there signs for the first time of a dominant scrum effort. Campbell Crisp, there in the three. Some of these guys, have, they seem to have been around forever, Tobias, but they are tried and true. Likes of Jeff Pari, likes of Willis Tamatia. Year in, year out, they perform well. Campbell at the back is a lifter. Okay, Natani Sitawanga with a good win at the line out. Here Christi. come the town backs. Strong running. Strong run from town. Yeah, absolutely. That by uh, Ale Polo. Polo has played well. Cohen Loftus played well too. Definitely. Hasn't had as many running opportunities as you'd like. Riftan well, gets it away. Cody. Here they come, town. Caught behind the gain line, though. Country's defence is very good, and they're very enthusiastic, hardworking. Keanu Tomata wouldn't be the captain of a lazy team. He's not. Country worked well here. Look to be uh, Campbell Crisp going forward. Good play by him. Purvis there with a good. kick. Purvis with He's a very it. good kick. Cohen Loffler Cohen. takes a mark. Cohen Loffler. Heroic display by Cohen Loffler. Sliding on the ground. Eyes pleadingly skyward towards referee Holt. He did really well there. He was on the slide. Held on to it. That's the smutty turf. Oval 2, home of the Gisborne High School Old Boys Club. Jeffrey Party to make the throw. Waikohu club teammate, Toru Nono at the front of the line out with Sweeney alongside him. Yeah, that's it. Referee Holt makes a mark between them. Then gets out of dodge. Jeffrey Pari, is it going to be Kupu Lloyd? Will it, will it not? Okay, they're looking for Cheyenne Wiley. Nice Wayne play Hemmer's there. Town with the ball back. Wayne Hammer did well there. Big man, Ratu. Ratu Nairoroi. 
He's played a good game, hasn't he? Good all-round game. He's been honest. Yeah. Lightweight, but moves well, and that's what you've got to do, I suppose. Don't take Rusty. it into contact needlessly. So the town forwards. Hard-working Ben Holt. Was that advantage or just get the arm out nervously? Strong stuff. Reeftan. It's a pass back. Wow, that's a great right. tackle there. Kupu Lloyd. Here's Wayne Hemmer. Hemmer gets a pass away. Now they're on the run. They're on the run still. Oh. Town. Picked up from Profit. Awesome recovery from Profit. Yeah, still 12 all. How do we to co cut up? Brave. That long body. I think Reeftan has played really well, you know. Definitely. You've just got to fill a you've got to fill a space, you've got to fill a need. You get told, hey, you're halfback, oh you're on the wing or whatever. You don't say oh, I'd rather be first five, you just <laughs> go wherever you put. I hope the Poverty Bay rugby community is enjoying this here on Rangai. To show you these games live is a lot of fun. Me, I think Tobias, the important thing is just be yourself. I'm just myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> Everyone else is taken. It's, at the moment, it's uh, 12 all. And I'm going to, not being patronising, I think Town has done extremely well for it to be 12 all. They've done very well. Well, what, what's happening here? We're waiting for an injured player. Yep. Neville Barwick out there for a word with uh, Ben Holt. Neville Barwick, I can remember years ago, Fred, refereeing Gisborne Boys High School first 15 games during the Kim Harris era. He has been with Poverty Bay Rugby through thick and thin. He's a good guy. Now, Referees Association, while I've got a chance to say it, shut, say it, they're all good guys. And a lot of fun, so funny off the field. 12 all. What are we waiting for now? Dinner and a show. 12 all. Ben Holt. James Higgins looking at him in mystified fashion. So 12 all. Four really good tries. I'm not going to forget the four tries I've seen scored today. Higgins has done well too for a big guy. Zach Powell. There's Zach Powell. And a very good player indeed. We've got two balls on the field at the moment. That's not going to work. Reftown Brown, Ted here. Okay, Zach Pell. And he, again, is guts personified. Very good young player. Out there with these super heavyweights. Higgins gave somebody the thumbs up. Is it Kupu Lloyd? Is it going to be Kupu Lloyd? Uh, ball, country ball. It's going to be town ball. Okay. Lance Dixon. The brothers of the front row. They've got this mutual understanding. Talking before about players without numbers on their jerseys, Tobias. <laughs> that can happen for a wide range of reasons. <laughs> Young McKenzie out there now, Angus McKenzie. And it's a, it's a good. I think it's a good thing, aside from a Poverty Bay senior representative squad, to get to play with other guys. You know, to, be, to have different teammates. You know, the understanding and the uh, the mateship is huge. The camaraderie in rugby is like that. One of the wonderful things about our national game. Okay, penalty then, the country. Okay, the penalty, Quick the some penalty to our country. Okay, nice hands. Caleb Kifari is a very good passer of the ball. A good distributor, McKenzie. He gets one away again. Country just a little bit out of rhythm at the moment. That's a, oh, McKenzie, thy, thy name is Hospital Pass there for a moment. Oh. That floater. Picked up Come a time. little loose. 
That's a James Higgins tackle. Now here's Higgins out here in the uh, in the middle. Really having a go. That was our Palusa. Twelve all. Tobias, as I said before, I think that the town guys have really stepped up today. I thought that country playing with more personnel in similar positions might find some things a little bit easier to do. But, uh, okay, Neoval is back out there now for town. A very good scrummager, Salisi Neoval. Mm. But I think the Great town game for that tonight, Obi. picked up their right, effort. Obi. I think they played a very good game. What do you think? They played an awesome game, Ben. Definitely wasn't expecting it. Was expecting something else. But oh, Town have shown me, oh my gosh. I was thinking that it might be very hard to contain the country backs because it's an all YMP backline, you know what I mean? Okay. That was uh, Ryland. He went to ground. He's not going to complain. Good play here from Town. <clears throat> Repeat, that's a Salisi Neoval lowers the shoulder. Lowers the boom, is driven to the earth. Terra firma. Jokatama Siwa. Well, we've got actually numbers are coming off guys' shirts. Some started without numbers, some had numbers, now they've fallen off. So what do you do? Great time. Brown Tedic oh, here. Oh, 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 got up a great pass. Almost a saintly pass there from Reef Time, Brown Tedic here. Now, well, what's the story with our guys whose numbers have fallen off and our guys who started without a number in the first place? <laughs> What is that? Is that? You can't be a collective him. Matt Prophet. Just got to hit the line. Got to hit the line. He does. Lance Dixon, that's magnificent. Gets up there for the line out. Lance Dixon, tremendous effort first there to the line out. And squats. That he is still going after having been out there for this long is amazing. Got to give it up to all the forwards that have been on since the start of the game. Oh, That's uh, sort of a what a win. Here's Reef Tart getting a pass away. I like what I'm seeing from them. Hang it to Tiamo. Think that he can do quite a bit. Wow! Look at this town on the oh. back again. Wait! Oh, oh he's he's been picked up. What is that going to be ruled a knock oh. on? Oh. That's not over. a knock on. That's not a knock on. I thought it had to be lost forward by somebody. Advantage to Advantage. a town. Advantage town. Town. Try. town, there's no doubt. Town try. Well, is there doubt or isn't there? Try or not? Okay, try. Over there, the uh, big boss, Paul Brown. 17-10. Well. 17-12. 17-12. I heard the same thing with you. Town were attacking. Then we thought the country had an intercept. Then all of a sudden there was no knock on. Mm. Amazing sort of passage. But that's what I mean sometimes about this rugby, modern rugby having too much structure, etc. That had no structure, and that's what made it such a lot of fun. Awesome 17 pickup. points to 12, oh yeah. That was awesome pickup from Colin. Cohen Loffel is a clever player. I mean, he's won two Most Valuable Player Awards this season for high school old boys, and you, that doesn't happen unless you're playing really well. He looks almost half the size of some of the guys he's playing against. That's Profit. Okay, he's got it for 19. 19-12. Okay, 19-12. Country. In the words of Queen Victoria, are going to need to take some very decided action. It was 19 points to 12. Marvellous here, the showing by the red team. They had the wind in the first half. They had a lead. Or no, rather, it was 12 all at the end of the first half. We thought that they'd really need a big lead, you know, to win the game. But they've gone from 12 all. And now to have the first converted try of the second half. Restart by Purvis. Okay, that was a lucky. That was a good restart there by Mitch Purvis. 
A lot of height. Kupu Lloyd came through. Tell you what, you wouldn't have liked to have to try to tackle him on the other side of that because he's a very, very good athlete. Extraordinary, actually. I've often got the impression that, um, you know, he's biding his time. Then all of a sudden he'll strike like a snake. Does that as a try scorer. He's had a good game at the line out. Willis Tamatia, I, I think, to be fair, has been the game's best line out forward. And again, just remembering the loss uh, a week or two ago of uh, Bill Tamatia, much loved guy, Ngarapa Club, Tamatia family, one of our great rugby families. See him out there doing well. Um, it's quite special, I think. Scrum. Ritani's Ritan. enjoying himself now at Harpeck. Definitely at Harpeck. Harpeck forever. If he can run around Ben Holt. Christy. Well, is that Ryland? That's nice superb rugby. Nice defence from town. Okay. Hunter went, oh, I was hit so hard. You've got to be pretty tough if you're wiry. You know, if you don't have the bulk, you take a few knocks. This has been a very good game of rugby today. It's 17 points to 12 at the moment. Only seven points, or rather, uh, yeah, 19, wasn't it? He scored a try and a conversion. 19. 19. 19 to 12. I was looking over there for a moment, Tobias, for the thin blue line. <laughs> Wonderful guys have been around for a long time and supported high school old boys. Great fans of rugby, great supporters of the club. Well, Wayne Hemmer thought he was going to get a break, but no way. Hemmer's too valuable. He's going nowhere except back to the line out. He plays his rugby with a smile on his face, Wayne Hemmer. He's an enjoyable character. And he helps me when I'm chasing people for tries, etc. Okay. Reef time there with a long pass. Oh, oh. lucky. I think maybe the pass took a little little while to get to him. Ben Holt. Ben Holt has done a good has done a good job here today for both teams. And what I'd say to Bias, if you've noticed it again, there's not a lot of show with referee Holt. Does a good, solid job. Definitely been, and it was like I'm saying yesterday at the Voice High game when Royce who, made yeah no. Royce awesome game. No. Awesome game of rugby that he ref, and it's the same today with Ben Holt. He's kept everything fair. He's been calling every single penalty. I do have a soft spot for the odd great entertainer, but <laughs> we don't see so many of them. Okay, really good rugby here now by Country on the front foot. That was Caleb. The pass again to uh, Genesis. Step off the oh, right foot. Here. Great balance. Great athlete. Great sportsman. Magnificent all-round sportsman. Well. Mitchell Purvis there, caught by uh, Jokotama Siwa. Made a good strong tackle. Okay, oh. now the intercept. Well, Town, they were riding the lightning there and they've been picked up by referee Holt. That was a big hit of him as soon as he caught that ball. Well, absolutely, Purvis tapped. Big man! Well, that's one way to get him down. Is, uh, it was high to King. Big E higher of Ngarapa, yes. That was high order king. Okay, that's Lance Dixon. Okay, you don't want to be pinged three times. Okay, country down at the moment, 12 to a 19. And that's going to be a try for country. Yeah, it is. It is, and here comes the conversion. Nothing sure. Now 19 to 17, I think that was to Pehi Fairley. And if so, it doesn't surprise me a bit. He would have to be one of the strongest guys close to the line to Pehi Fairley. I can remember the party he played championships a few years ago for YMP and a second run of championships in the last two or three years. Okay, Purvis converts. 19 all. Oh, shaping up, Ben. And this, frankly, this is where... The quality of not just your refereeing but your timekeeping becomes very important. 
19 all. Paul Brown, Neville Barwick, Fred Barwick have done a great job. Well, that answers that. 18 and a half minutes from uh, <laughs> Neville Fred Barwick. 19 all. Imagine the rugby they're going to play in the next 18, 18 and a 19 half. minutes. Whoa. Okay, profit there. That's a good restart. The hanging restart. Okay, I think that was Shade Scudder. Did you get a hand to it, though? Huddlewitter. Nice. Nice ah. recovery from Huddlewitter. Okay, so let's see if I had it for a moment. Then Higgins again. Higgins staggering. Higgins. Stop. Higgins, Higgins is still on his feet! Higgins is still on his feet! Oh, Higgins just sets him! I've never seen anything like that before. Okay. Can they get home? Oh, what a defence! Well, somehow Country have saved the ball in play. Confusion reigns. What defence from town? Now town, James Higgins. It was as if his legs were manacled, he was in irons, and he kept on running. Someone check on Cohen. <sighs> I think James sends him into another dimension. Oh, my goodness. I, I can't get over that run by James Higgins. That was stunning, man, honestly. He carried three or four people a distance of about 10 or 15 metres. Hard enough to carry one person. Hard enough to carry yourself. It's going to be a scrum to town. And he started the game. That's uh, remarkable. This is awesome from all our forwards. Tell you what, you ask yourself, is James Higgins ready to play rep rugby this season? He's ready. If this is the evidence, he's ready. Town got it clear here. Okay, that's going to be ruled as a uh, high tackle. Nothing malicious in that whatsoever. He's on his back. He is, and, and if... If that's a head knock, which it, which it would seem to be, obviously player safety is the most important thing of all. But there is absolutely no suggestion of foul play because there hasn't been anything like that in the game at all. I was a bit worried for Nelson Moran earlier on when they lifted him in the middle of the park. <laughs> but that was more about being uncomfortable than being hurt. Ehia Kerr. Nice story too with Ehia Kerr. I was talking to mine, he caught her last night and he told me that they brought E higher in, and I think the big guys had a lot of fun out there. And you know, a big guy, a great front row forward, great scrummager, biggest smile, I touched the ball. Did you get, did you touch, I, 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 I got the ball. You made a run, I made a run. And he, I thought he was going to score a try. Had he scored a try, that would have been one of the most popular tries of all time. E higher, he and Higgins. I don't know what sort of test, I know that they've got tests they can do on exactly how many people you can carry when you're running, but however many James Higgins there carrying people. That was a nuts, honestly. Higgins, okay. I'll come. If I have to. Well, this is going back out there. That was amazing. And I mean amazing. <laughs> awesome run by Higgins. Awesome game by Higgins. Tell you what, man, you know you've played a game of rugby out here. These guys are coming off. They have played a good, honest game. Katie Christie. So, yeah, that was uh, Ryland there with a good pass moment ago. Got to make the most of these chances. Got to make the most of them, you know. Ale Polo's had a good game. And I hope the crowd appreciate the very good job that Ben Holt has done. Because those guys have been playing the game at a fierce pace. It's been very physical. And I think he's done an extremely good job. Had a couple of players take bad knocks, when a lesser official might have just thrown out a silly yellow card and he didn't do it. He's had a very good game. Matt Prophet out here. Come up into the back line. Hey, is he back where he should be? Everybody's coming up. Look. Yeah, Polo was alongside him. He said, oh, you're moving, I'll move. Ryland on his inside. Going to tackle now. Got to tackle now. Trying to give Town the slip. Couldn't do it. 
No, it's not. It bounced just inside the field of play. And there again, a very good example of what a good game our assistant referees have had. Neville Barwick calling that correctly. And you know what? The paint on these sidelines, it's not as if it's thick white. You know what I mean? It has worn away. Paid close attention and made a good call. A lot of people Wayne Hammer stepped up third. today. It's Wayne Hammer. Natani Sunawonga, wowee! Reef time. See that there by Sunawonga? Katie Christie. That was magnificent. Whoa. Okay, still town ball, good ball. You don't want slow ball. Sunawonga has it, shoulder to the wheel. Was that an early tackle? I wondered about that. Well, okay. Country are on the run now. Well, this is something didn't expect. So country with a breakout here. And that's going to be a try to country. Okay. Okay. So that gives us 24 to 19 now. Is that correct? I think it might be 1917. Mm, it is, isn't it? 24-19. It's easy to get caught up in the moment. I won't apologise for that because these guys have played such exciting rugby. 24-19. Country. They are ahead by a try. Up by five points, 24 points to 19. Got assistant referees uh, Paul Brown, who is the uh, reserve referee proper. Near side goalpost and Neville Barwick over there on the far side. So Mitchell Purvis. Could this be the winning of the game? Well, how much more rugby do we have left to play? We've got lots more rugby. Don't ask about how much time we got left. How much more rugby have they got left in the tank? Mitchell Purvis. 10 minutes, 24 to 19. 24 to 19, Purvis there. Unlucky kick. Well, it's the thought that counts. 24 points to 19. 24 points to 19, Ben Holt. He must be knackered. This game has been played at good pace. Town v Country. It's going to be a nail-biting last 10 minutes of this oh. game, Ben. Oh, yeah. And you know what? You can, you can bet your bottom dollar that whichever team loses, or maybe whichever team wins, they'll be talking about a series, wanting to play it as a series. <laughs> or at least two. Two games. Matt Profit. So, man, he's back on. Iwane Filimoni. He was very influential in the first three quarters of the game, and now he comes back at the beginning of the end. Mackenzie. Shope. Shope Piocana. Oh. He's played a magnificent game, a mighty game at number down. eight. Yeah, well. This is Kuroria. Struggling to pick that player up. Mackenzie. He runs. Nice pass, the last one. Here's oh. Tane. Here's Tane to Pody. Not an easy guy to bring down. But they manage it. Here comes the whistle here from referee Holt. So Country have the ball at Pori again. Driven down near the sideline. Country letting it fly. Willis. Okay, it's a long bounce pass. Is this uh, Siopi here? Oh, oh, some big contact as well. Everybody's on the body. game stop with guys waiting for the whistle or something. Quite sure what happened there. McKenzie there kicked it into somebody. That might have been very clever play there by McKenzie to actually kick it into a uh, into a town player to bring that advantage to an end. Advance the game, if you would. Toru no no, here he comes. Toru no no. Toru no no. Oh, what a hit. There. Toru what no a no. hit. He gave it the big one. Oh, wow. And that's going to be a try for country. Well, that's 29. 29. 29-19. Remember, the last try wasn't converted. You would hope that this try was converted if you were country. Toru no no. 
got to give up, give it up to all of the forwards that are playing today, Ben. Uh, battering Rams. Well, they given Mitchell Purvis a few shots at goal. 29-19, and for the first time today, a 10-point lead for country. 12 all at half time. Caleb Tafare, left footer. Caleb normally a very reliable goal kicker. This is Tafare and he's got this. It's a perfect kick. 31-19. 31 points to 19. Caleb Tafari with a very good kick at goal. That conversion is important. 31 points to 19. 31-19 now. Country well ahead. Now up by 12 points. So Town need to score twice for the lead. Go cut. Well, if they played at the ball inside that area, then it's play on. They've got the ball back. Uh, Town have it. Town continuing to work hard. Their forwards haven't shirked anything. They've been very good. Although now guys sort of running one off. Got to keep doing this as a, as a unit. You see Town not going to die wondering. Here's Ryland going back to gather the ball. And it could be very dangerous from here, Ryland. Ryland there, very powerful in the upper body, oh. getting to ground. Awesome recovery from and Ryland And released, too. I thought he did well there. I thought he might have been turned. Good play here now from town. When to release those backs. Those backs, they've got speedy backs. They've got Phil oh. who scored one of the great tries over here earlier. Hey. Oh, well, wow, I threw it back anywhere. I suppose that's what he had to do. And a man's got to do what a man's got to do. He saved it in play. Rolled it back. Referee Holt. Plays the ball. Well, gave them a penalty on the cross. Tried well, town. They got it. They got what they needed. 31-24? It is 31-24. 31-24. 31-24. 31-24. 31-24. <laughs> 31-24. How gutsy has this town team been? Country with touches of class today, daubs of brilliance. But town have continued to fight and fight. Waiting to take the shot at goal here. Thirty-one twenty-four. Shot at goal is this uh, Kingi Tiamo. He's the the nine. Get ready for a grandstand finish. 31-24. Seven points in it. Most they can hope for is to tie the game. If I consider that enough, the, uh, the kick of goal is a little low. So 31-24. This has been probably the best Town v Country fixture I can remember, Jeez. Tobias. It's a cliff in the We've closest. had some good ones, but I think that this is the best one I've seen. Three minutes. Uh, referee, as always, Mr. Holt is the sole judge of law, fact, and time. Now, that by uh, Mitchell Purvis has not gone 10 metres. The town uh, didn't play it okay. They did play at it and lost it forward. Disappointments mount. Mitchell Purvis has made some lovely passes today. A lot of his kicking games have been very good. I think Reef Tan Brown Teddy Kia, to be honest with you, Tobias has done really well. He's in a awesome game. Half back. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, first five for uh, 
OBM. OBM and out here at halfback. Some guys are a bit silly, they'll say, oh, what's the difference? I mean, it's one position. Yeah, there's a big difference, actually. And Zach Pell on this side in 20 for country. He is the smallest forward out there, but he is worth his weight in gold. Throw the ball in for you, do anything he's asked to do. Got a great attitude to the game. Okay. Country with Mitchell yet Davis. more running. It's going to take a bounce. Up to uh, Rutene. That's a uh, loose one there. Country have it. Straining here to get to ground. Okay, that's uh, Willis. Holds the ball. Oh, is that accidental oh. offside or not? Penalty going to be ruled here for a high shot by referee Holt. That was Shade Scudder getting a pass away or the ball went loose. Okay, inside the last three minutes. Tobias, if you're country, what do you do? Become conservative or continue to play the game? I'll be conservative. You've got at least just under two minutes. You can't, you can't. Ooh. Okay. Didn't go to plan for uh, country, but they have the ball back now. They're willing to run to... Sometimes it's a little hard for us. Some of the numbers have changed on these guys. Hudson got down to pick the oh. ball up. He got down to pick the ball up. Good play there by Sam Hudson. Country. <coughs> Torinono. One monster stops, another starts. So Sam Hudson, then Torinono. This is good stuff. Good stuff. Country there to polish it off and make it 36 points to 24. What a try. 12 point gap again. So a magnificent finish is what you're seeing here from country. And it was a very close game for most of the game, but the last 10 minutes, they've, they've owned the last 10 minutes. Sam Hudson has had a heck of a good game. Started, came off, went back on. And this has been a real test today. Day like today, you can give guys not just one run, but more than one run. And I think that's a lateral thinking by the coaches. Thirty-six twenty-four with that try. This here for a 38-24. Some of the goal kicking from the sideline has been has been tested there, uh, Tobias. Yeah. So 36, uh, 24, Town v Country. Ben Holt, a small smile there. He can afford to. He's had a really good game. These players have had a fair shake. Both teams, both had a chance to play the game. There hasn't been too much whistle. I I am impressed actually, pleased with what I've seen. All boys have. Loyal little fellas. Do it for the love of the game. Okay, oh. and uh, was that Campbell? That was Campbell. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> Life's not fair. <laughs> okay, 36 24. Town getting over the ball. Is that Shade Scudder? Shade Scudder, captain of this country team. Oh, and with and that. Led them to victory, 36 points to 24. Tobias, a marvellous rugby occasion and a really good standard from both of these teams, Town v Country. What an awesome game today, Ben. Awesome. Very, very awesome from both teams. We'll start with Town first. Didn't expect that from them. What a game for Town. Uh, Philomone, got a try assist and got an intercept runaway. Oh my goodness, what a try. Uh, got to give up to all the forwards as well that played the full game. They stuck it until the end, and oh my, oh. Siopi Piokana, very good. Number eight for a country, a very distinctive figure. Um, and just tackled and ran hard. The guy's standard of fitness, the fitness held up. I was impressed by the, the passion too. 
That's we talk about skills and we talk about effort, but not about passion. They're wearing a one-off jersey, if you can call it that, and they wore it well today. They really got entered into the spirit of things. Maya Nikora, Ken Okamo are the two head coaches. If you were Maya, if you were Ken Okamo, would you be pleased with the effort you saw? Definitely, but I'll, I would be proud of the boys because they just they had a good, they had a great game. They had a crack at it, didn't they? They they got onto the field. They knew that it was it's one of the best games of the year, and it's one of the only times that they're going to be playing with the other teams from around Gisborne, and it's good to see. I think too um, the teamwork of the of the guys, considering in the backs and in the forwards, the combinations were pretty good. There was some very good play at line out time. Country in particular very strong at the line out, but having said that, Nelson Moran was also very good. He won ball. Uh, Kupu Lloyd won ball. And you saw the leadership, Keanu Tomata, as an open side flanker. He was the captain of town. And you saw, obviously, Shade Scudder, captain of the Champions YMP, captain of country. They brought guys together. They brought together people from different clubs harmoniously, and they helped them to play as a team. Definitely, Ben. And just to finish off, all the positions that were filled today. <laughs> that were, you, saw, you saw players that were not even comfortable in their position. Reef Town, Brown, Tidi Kia, halfback, playing halfback. Darren Cox, Pitsiaki, winger. My favourites are always going to be those guys without a number, but hey, you can't have everything. <laughs> I enjoyed it here on Rangai. We always enjoy bringing you rugby. We've got Super 8 rugby coming up. We've got more club rugby coming up. We've got King's Birthday weekend. We're going to enjoy ourselves. We hope you did too. Well done, boys. Well done.